The 1984 Montana State football team's national championship run remains one of the proud topics of conversation for its players, many of which still remain in Big Sky country. Of course, those players loaded with Montana homegrown talent. The number four linebacker on our MT Top 40 also hails from inside the Treasure State and played a key part in that 84 title run, setting a plethora of school records in the process, many which will likely never be touched. The number four linebacker in the MT Top 40 is Shotos Mark Fellows. The thing I remember about Mark is how strong he is. And I, we're, I was with him at a barbecue here a couple weeks ago, and he still looks big, strong, and dominating. And I, I, don't, I know he takes real good care of himself, but um, he, he had strength and quickness. But the thing, I, Mark had more strength than I think a lot of those guys that we've talked about earlier enabled him to uh, just out-muscle guys, but also outsmart them and out-quick them. After growing up in Lodge Grass, Fellows moved to Shoto, where he was often quoted as always having something to prove. And athletics were the perfect spot to do so. Fellows joining the football team his freshman year. According to fellow Shoto Bulldog Flint Rasmussen, Fellows was also an all-state thrower in track and fields and a fine wrestler. Four years of football later, Fellows was selected to compete in the 1981 Shrine Game. His East squad won that contest 19 to 7, and it happened to be against his future Montana State teammate, Joe Bignell out of Deer Lodge. That's when Fellows went on to become one of the all-time greats in Montana State history. He broke onto the national scene in 1983, where he was named All Big Sky Conference and Honorable Mention All-American. But MSU would finish the season with a disappointing 1-10 record. The next season, however, was one of the greatest turnarounds in Treasure State history. Fellows led a dominant defense in 1984, totaling 23 sacks and 30 tackles for loss. Each of those is MSU's single season record. In the national championship game against Louisiana Tech, Fellows packed the stat sheet with 11 solo tackles, six tackles for loss, and six sacks. Each of those is a Bobcat single game postseason record, and Montana State won that championship 19 to six. I remember a lot about Mark. Uh, he was one of the key cogs, another captain on that national championship team that uh, in 1984. Yeah, Mark was a linebacker, but a, a outside type linebacker, a rush guy, similar to Dane. He was matched up on a offensive tackle a lot of times. Boy, I felt sorry for some of those offensive tackles, and I felt even more sorry for the quarterback once he got there. Uh, he had some hellacious collisions uh, with the quarterback, and I, I remember him uh, wrapping the Boise State quarterback up and throwing him like a rag doll after he got there, but that defense was outstanding. Um, we also had some other defensive linemen that were very good, and I think Mark would say this too, but uh, Lonnie Burt, the nose guard that year, Montana State champion wrestler, and he also wrestled for the Bobcats here as well, but he had such strength and quickness himself. They were offensive, offensive line or you know, the running backs, the, the blocking scheme needed two guys to account for him. So often Mark got single one-on-one -on -one, uh, opportunities uh, during a pass rush situation. After being drafted by the San Diego Chargers in the seventh round of the 1985 NFL Draft, Fellows would suffer a hip injury in the second game during a kickoff, which ultimately would end his pro career. When I was coaching, we went and watched the San Diego Chargers practice in preseason uh, in July. We, did, we used to tour the pro camps in the areas that we could, and we went to several of them. But we got the opportunity to go to San Diego and watch him. And, you know, he, he, had, a good, he had a good run with the Chargers until he had that hip injury that uh, derailed him for quite a while. But I think had he not had that situation happen to him, he would have had a, a number of years remaining on his NFL career, and they, he would have been successful. Mark Fellows was the 1985 Little Sullivan Award winner and was inducted into the Montana State Athletics Hall of Fame in 1998. And though he had dreams of pursuing a football coaching career, his father convinced him to return home to Shoto, where he and his brother Mike, who played basketball at Montana State, currently run the family's ranch. Mark Fellows, show to Montana to Montana State, the number four linebacker on the MT Top 40 as we continue counting our way down to number one on Friday. Tune in again the rest of the week at montanasports.com for more stats and accolades from the linebacking group. Richie Melby.
MTN Sports.